Okay, so that's our company's page, <laughs> as, I said, as I mentioned before. Um, so, uh, anybody here who doesn't know our brand, really? <laughs> okay, um, did we are famous for, for these for this kind of shoes. And um, yeah, let's uh, have a look about us. Um, so we invented the foot bed. Um, to, um, we started in uh, 1774, uh, so we have uh, uh, 250 years some, uh, something um, in uh, performing in this segment. And so here are some facts. We have 3,800 employees around the world. We are under the top five global footwear brands and we're the largest employer of German shoe industry. And so also we created uh, 1,900 new jobs in Germany. So these are famous, but we have also um, some other, so these are our products, um, some sandals here. These are called the Birkenstock Classic lines, which is um, famous around the world. But we also have now shoes, a shoe segment, and also for the kids. And Friends Line is a cooperation with um, a Disney, for example, for um, our sandals. So there's even a professional sector and insoles for those who want to pimp the normal shoes, <laughs> the Birkenstock way. So uh, we also have legwear, um, so descriptions itself, and new one, new sector is belts, which I'm actually wearing. And this is something quite new, a bed collection and a natural skin collection. So I'll switch over to my presentation. Okay, so what I want to show is uh, that we have a sales support B2B tool, um, many sales support B2B tools, and it was really a, su a success story for us. Um, and we had, um, it was the point that we um, had to have um, our B2B business and also our sales representatives uh, with, a, with a good app to handle on the market, and uh, we choose to get uh, to be offline first. So what it means, uh, I will show in a, um, in a hands-on. I'm glad that, I'm, that I'm, uh, I may introduce uh, this new version because it was uh, released at, uh, in the beta version at uh, Monday. So you see, um, it was, uh, really, it's really new. So let's have a look at my agenda. Um, we had a project challenge, development guides, evolutions, roadmap, and options cloud, and then what we're all looking for on my hands-on. <coughs> so let's start. Yeah, you see our company's Germany uh, leads to new de uh, has led to new de demands and we had uh, a lack of certifying solutions for the B2B order processing. So there were, there were no mobile solutions um, to, um, yeah, to, let, uh, to provide uh, those um, yeah, our sales rep uh, representatives to um, be um, to their day-to-day -to -day business. So uh, we wanted a modern and professional order processing solution, and to get in the direct dialogue with our clients. So to we wanted to be prepared for the market. <coughs> Here are some development uh, guidelines. Uh, anybody knows. So I want. Uh, so what we want is uh, to have a maximum success, and uh, we think uh, thought about how to uh, get it, uh, to reach it. So the, um, the main fact is um, we wanted to have uh, coordinated requirements to uh, build our scope, and we had to increase uh, our efficiency to have better times and uh, increase the output and also lower uh, throughput times. 
We wanted to uh, optimize our co collaborations um, to keep our resources as, uh, as optimized as, as possible. So we limited works in progress, we interact directly with our stakeholders, and um, we want to efficient our development. So all this together is, um, yeah, so Nept um, going with Neptune made, us, uh, made, it, made all this possible. And I'm really interested in uh, how, the, um, how the way is going to be with um, Planet Nine. So ha let's have a look at our evolutions roadmap. We had a uh, kickoff with Neptune and also our partner um, from the Kilantis AG, someone here, Mr. Straubel, hello. <laughs> And um, so we invented, our first step was to uh, create a pre-order app. And also in the back end, we had to um, create a, a price engine, um, which uh, allows us to show um, the prices within the app. So this is what we call the offline first. We are synchronized to the app so that you also have, uh, on, when you're on a fair, you might also uh, place orders when you're not connected to the internet. <coughs> So afterwards, um, we uh, invented a smart journey um, together with uh, the users it, themselves to optimize the journey through the app. We had uh, then we implemented a desktop version for our um, for our back office clients. Uh, we had an interna internationalization um, went on to the um, to Denmark and UK, and also uh, we started in uh, DACH and went to Denmark. UK and Spain also. Um, several countries are on our uh, journey as well. So afterwards, um, we had a customer clustering. We uh, safeguarded our sync operations. Um, and now what I want to present today is uh, our reorder app. And for this, we created a stock engine in the back end, which uh, allows us to show um, <coughs> the uh, stock uh, quantities um, that we have on our stock for today. <coughs> so what's on our, um, what's our planned exp uh, ex expansion is also a close-out app. Um, we, are, we have to uh, do a hardware upgrade because, um, yeah, uh, because of the data amounts we have actually in our reorder app, um, uh, in, in our, our tests, um, the, app, um, the iPad crashed, so <laughs> we have to go uh, to the uh, iPad Pro for, for G. Um, and uh, what we also have, want to do is uh, a mobile quick guide uh, to implement it directly to the app so that uh, you, are, you get your help uh, when you need it at the place where you actually are inside the user journey. So and it all leads to a B2B online portal uh, where the customers directly may place their orders, so that's in the future. But as a, if, and I, I'm really uh, looking forward for this uh, Planet Nine solution to uh, to, uh, to get this uh, B2B portal done. So we also have an options cloud uh, with uh, there's a KPI app inside, so customer management app and things like that. But it's also actually these are options where um, the journey might lead to. Yeah, and also we have to implement uh, digital asset management. That's a different tool, but I hope uh, that this uh, would be also fine with um, Planet Nine solution. So this helps us to uh, be intuitive, interactive, Function-oriented, simplified, process-driven, safeguardness, and acting on changes to keep our Birkenstock application state-of-the-art for our customers and users' day-to-day -day operations. So I have to switch over to the hands-on. One uh, of the main things my um, I, we had to uh, do is uh, keep it as sexy as possible. So you see, we uh, implemented um, HT HT HTML5, CSS3, and also JavaScript <laughs> to keep it in our, um, and also our completely corporate, uh, um, corporate design is uh, kept in here. We wanted to keep it simple with icons and instead of uh, explaining texts. And um, so you start up with uh, login, uh, 
on the iPad, it's with, a, with, your, with your touch. So this is um, I skip. You have uh, inside the app, you have a synchronized function. Um, so you get the da you you, you um, pull the data out of the uh, of the back office uh, of the uh, backend inside your app. Uh, you you are able to have a full sync or um, delta. So and also the image data for handling this app. So I prepared this to skip because. Uh, Okay, I already uh, synchronized it. So that is what uh, what uh, what our um, what our, the user sees uh, first when he starts. That's the main uh, page. Um, it's like a catalog. When you don't uh, select a customer, it's like a catalog mode. You can switch in here, walk through, navigate through these uh, sub brands. So these are all, all only tests. So I have to still order this the pre-order. Let's have a look at the reorder, so it's better. Um, ha, much more articles inside. So um, this is a catalog mode. Afterwards, um, if you want to place an order, you uh, select your customer right here. You have an intelligent search over here. Um, I try one of these. Then you have to set the delivery date. Um, you also may uh, take another one, set the date, and then you see um, the top line is uh, is closed, so that you are into the order process. You see that your your client's name is uh, mentioned on the uh, on the top. Then you act like in like you always know from a web shop, jump into the collection. What we have here, ah, well, we'll choose another collection. Maybe shoes. So what you what we have here is uh, the information uh, for our product, for our articles, uh, leading direct. Th these are directly from our um, SAP uh, back system. There's no, um, th we have no, um, yeah, we have no data inside the app. That's all really from the SAP itself. So. Uh, so what we have here uh, is uh, also um, our articles, pictures, um, model names, and um, this uh, leaf means that it's um, the actual connection and the without leaves is an older one. So um, we implanted a good or bad assortment flag that it's um, this battery um, on the left up uh, left lower side and then you get jump into you have some further information about the product um, like gender food bed insole outsole everything from SAP no content management system and so you have frosted glass effect in here that's what that's uh, JavaScript for example different views and then what's the main thing is the possibility to um, to place the order itself via this matrix. Um, you see the size runs in here, you see the wholesale price, you see the recommended retail price, all belongs to the selected customer. So you place the quantity in here, jump over to the next. Add to basket, go on with a different article. So, what you see here is uh, what we call the fuel gorge. It's uh, not similar to um, to the um, on on the first uh, on the front uh, because this one is uh, uh, shows how many articles um, are. In um, in stock, but it's, it's good stock, a bad stock, or in, or a no stock, so for when it's empty. So after you add it to the basket, you uh, you see in the upper right corner that I have now 
uh, two articles and 73 pairs in my shopping cart. We also have uh, filters in here to smaller the selection. Intelligent search maybe for shoe called London. Or color black. Models name and also an upper material, for example, natural leather. So then after you have picked up all these articles, you jump into the shopping cart. Then you see um, a summary over here, uh, up here. You have, um, you might uh, place uh, another ship, ship to address, it, address if the customer owns one. Uh, you can uh, move the delivery date to, an, to another. And then you have to um, confirm this in information. Then what we implanted is the share function. The share function allows us to send an email directly from the system. It's uh, like a willingness to purchase. And it's possible to send it on to, me, to myself, to the customer and, and everything and that's um, inside the app. It's like, uh, okay, what, what we have talked about. It's also normally, it's, uh, there are also the pictures inside and the size runs and the prices. <coughs> So you also have to confirm this. And you see a summary of the items in here, which I may add or remove completely. And afterwards, I also have to accept this. And now I have this, um, the possibility to save as a draft. A draft order also um, will be sent to the SAP system for, for, later, um, for later ordering. Maybe, um, or as a draft itself, um, you might load it back to the app and uh, multiple it for maybe uh, a customer uh, wants to have a same order uh, three times. So what you have in here is uh, the possibility to simulate order, what w won't work now, because um, if you simulate the order, um, it will be sent to the. Uh, it will be uh, send a request over this amount to the uh, to the backend system, and the backend system will answer if this amount is uh, still um, is still um, with, uh, in this in this quantity. So, if not, uh, it will s send you back an information that you have to uh, which how many um, uh, how many quantities um, are available so that you can uh, match it to the to your order, and afterwards you save the order, and. If you see uh, on the upper right, uh, I have no internet connection. It's either this uh, red one uh, sign over uh, next to my name. So <coughs> this order will stay into the outbox. And I might also go on with my, uh, with my order, uh, with, the, with the next customer or a different order or something like that. So this is um, history. Um, which is uh, the possibility um, that that I might, um, um, if, if I have to discuss uh, an order which was placed in the time before, I have here uh, I can jump into and uh, look for delivery status or something like that. Maybe this one. This one is to uh, if I want to uh, uh, want to load a, a draft order. I have to select the customer, and if there are draft orders, I can load them back to the uh, to the app to uh, finalize them. And we secured uh, the outbox that way. That now, if I want to um, send it over to the system, uh, it's, a t uh, it's a test version. Okay, test ten <laughs> would be better. Um, and it's, uh, it shows me an, uh, an AJAX error because of uh, it's no connection. Um, when I close this and my order crashes, maybe other way around, I'll open it again. Ah, geez. Yeah, 
Here's one not send order into my outbox. It's a little data from cache. Okay, the symbol has changed. So now I have to get in, uh, when I now, uh, now want to try uh, to now try to um, send it again. Uh, there will be another error message that says me you have already tried to send this order. Please connect the customer service to check SAP is if um, the order is, um, uh, has been placed, because um, we don't want to have uh, doubles into our, into our system. So then I want to finish my presentation and thanks for the invitation and also <laughs>